I have finished another book, Assassins, by Charlotte Grieg, and it covers pretty thoroughly um, a lot of historical and recent assassinations, unsolved ones, assassination attempts, uh, lots of different ones that happened in other countries, and a lot that I had not really heard about or had heard mentioned a whole lot. So this actually ended up being a far more interesting book than I had anticipated because you hear the general Martin Luther King Jr. and and Abraham Lincoln and all those kind of ones that are very very famous but she also addresses a lot of different ones that involve uh, a lot of ones carried out by Russia uh, or suspected to be carried out by Russia or Russia adjacent sort of governments and things and goes into detail on some that were of journalists and different things along those lines that were unsolved. Um, this one was really interesting. The Andy Warhol one was very interesting just because that was a really weird case that happened. The one about Reagan was interesting because I've heard a lot about the actual assassination attempt and it's really windy out here and Reagan himself and the whole sort of everything that was that went on with the assassination attempt because I think I read Killing Reagan I think I think that was the title it was one of those Bill O'Reilly um, ghost writing ones um, so I knew a lot about that part but this one really goes in more more about how incredibly strange um, Mark David Chapman was and just sort of the whole kind of weirdness with him and and everything that was sort of associated with it it really goes in hard on a lot of ones that were attempted assassinations that didn't work and some of the ones I'm surprised I haven't heard more about simply because they seem like major things that should be more noted than they actually are. The Andy Warhol one, like I said, was very, very interesting because I didn't realize he'd had an assassin. I don't know much about Andy Warhol, let's just be clear, other than his actual art. But it was, an in, it was interesting just because how bizarre that was and that woman seemed very off kilter to begin with and just sort of descended in this weird weird situation that sometimes assassination attempts aren't really politically motivated. Hers was just sort of very strangely motivated in in everything. Um, it, it also addresses some of the older assassinations that we've had. And there's a lot of good pictures in here, too. There's a lot of, like, historical Pancho Villa and all sorts of different things here. She tries to explain the background. Alexander II who it's amazing he wasn't killed sooner in that that situation I mean goodness he 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 lived through quite a few that should have killed him up until the one that actually did kill him um some really interesting ones about the one who tried to um Falcone who tried to clean up Sicily and the the mafia and that kind of situation that happened around that so I don't know. I didn't realize there were so many situations with assassinations and that some of them were very, I don't want to use the word interesting, but they are very complicated and are very, uh, a lot of moving pieces in who these people were and who these people were that were either tasked with killing them or were mentally unstable and went about killing them, or who were just radicalized and went about killing them. And also there's some, some CIA madness in some of this too that Grieg doesn't really shy away from, sort of around uh, Malcolm X in particular. That one, there's a lot of, there's some question to that one and, and sort of what happened. There's some, some real questions in some of these ones that seem to be associated with Russia that are pretty nasty. So 
if you'd like a, a book about assassins simply because it's a different end of true crime stuff it is a different different motivations than a lot of your normal true crime stuff i would suggest finding this book because this is the most thorough one i've ever seen that was very well handled uh, very well researched it seemed as well and was very it, it's not she's not really trying to make a case for anything but she is trying to lay out you know this is this is the facts as we see them at this point about this particular thing. So, finish this, but I would suggest, um, really suggest this one if you're interested in anything along those lines, either political history or just true crime history. I have received three books from Kensington Press as art copies to read, so I'm going to be going in on them. And I have some other books that I have finished as well that I'm going to have to do some reviews here soon, but it's been hard finding time in the morning when I'm trying to get to school because it's really hectic there right now. But um, anyway, this is a really good book if you're interested in that sort of a thing.